Okay, we're gonna make this short because I'm on lunch break and I'm about out of town. Friend was asking me about the starter the other day on the Ranger. He's got a 89 square body. This is a 97. So it might be a little different, but I don't think it is. All right, starter solenoid. This one has the prong here and the prong here. Most of them on Rangers have just two prongs and one here. Um, the old, old Fords, 70s, 80s, they used the one with the double prong. All right, so this one has no power on it. This one has a constant power to the starter. And you see a gray hair wire right here also. That's your wire going to the starter. Gray one goes somewhere else. Here's a little red wire. That one, when you turn the ignition key, pulls power and goes down to try to focus here to the starter. Big red wire on the top post on the starter. This little small wire that I just showed you goes to a little nut right there. And I don't have one off the truck to show you, but there you go. Now underneath here is a second nut that goes connects this part to the big part down here. Don't put the wire on that one because it'll be constantly trying to crank the motor. Now on this starter, this is a 4.0 Ranger. It has two bolts on it to hold it on. One there and one on the bottom. They're easy to get to. I think I used a uh, 13 millimeter or half inch and I think it might have been a 10 on this nut right, on this little nut. Um, the 3.0 Ranger started in the same place, but the best I remember it's got three bolts and it is a, it's a really tight spot and a booger bear to get to. So, Hope that helps you out. And always remember when playing with electronics, unhook your battery first. Y'all have a good day.